when to consult a doctor about changes in stool shape or size and diagnostic tests for colon cancer. Hey there! In this video, we'll be discussing an important topic related to digestive health, changes in stool shape or size and their potential connection to colon cancer. We'll cover when you should consult a doctor if you notice such changes and the diagnostic tests recommended for detecting colon cancer. So, let's get started. When should you consult a doctor? If you've noticed a continuous change in the shape or size of your stools, it's crucial to consult a doctor for further evaluation. While it's normal for stools to vary slightly in shape and size depending on factors like diet and hydration, persistent changes can be a cause for concern. Here are some signs that should prompt you to seek medical attention. Persistent thin or narrow stools. If your stools become consistently pencil thin or narrower than usual, it could indicate a potential issue in the colon. Persistent loose or watery stools. Frequent bouts of loose or watery stools that last for an extended period may warrant medical attention. Persistent constipation. Difficulty passing stools or infrequent bowel movements that persist over time could be a sign of an underlying problem. Presence of blood in stools. If you notice blood in your stools, whether it's bright red or darker in color, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. Unexplained weight loss. Significant weight loss without a clear cause could indicate an underlying health issue, including colon cancer. Family history of colon cancer. If you have a family history of colon cancer, it's advisable to discuss any changes in stool shape or size with your doctor, as you may have an increased risk. Remember, these are general guidelines, and it's always best to consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice based on your specific situation. Diagnostic Tests for Detecting Colon Cancer When you consult a doctor regarding changes in stool shape or size, they may recommend certain diagnostic tests to assess your condition. While these tests are not necessarily performed in every case, they are commonly used for detecting colon cancer. Here are some of the recommended diagnostic tests. 1. Colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is a procedure that involves examining the inner lining of the colon using a long, flexible tube with a camera. It allows the doctor to visualize any abnormalities, such as polyps or tumors, and even remove them during the procedure for further examination. 2. Flexible sigmoidoscopy. This procedure is similar to a colonoscopy but focuses on the lower part of the colon. It uses a flexible tube to examine the rectum and sigmoid colon for any signs of abnormality. 3. Fecal occult blood test. This is a simple test that detects the presence of blood in the stool which may be an indication of colon cancer. It involves collecting a small stool sample and sending it to a laboratory for analysis. 4. Stool DNA testing. This newer test analyzes the DNA in your stool sample for specific genetic changes associated with colon cancer. It can help identify certain genetic mutations that may increase the risk of developing the disease. 5. Imaging tests. In some cases, your doctor may recommend imaging tests such as a CT scan or MRI to get a more detailed view of the colon and surrounding structures, helping detect any abnormalities. The choice of diagnostic tests will depend on various factors, including your symptoms, medical history, and the doctor's assessment. It's crucial to pay attention to any persistent changes in the shape or size of your stools and consult a doctor if you notice such changes. While they may not always indicate a serious condition like colon cancer, it's essential to 